Social auditing. An important element in addressing social challenges that may be faced by an organization is through stakeholder verification and conducting interviews with end users, which include workers, smallholders, and community members. It is also important to ensure that enough time is planned for by the assessors during the audit duration to guarantee this. Social auditing is a requirement that enables and demonstrates the organisational, social and economic benefits and limitations of the company. It measures a company's commitment in fulfilling their objectives and its treatment of their employees. Social auditing is conducted and verified by a team of assessors who interact with the organisation to analyse their management system's compliance to social indicators. The social audit team then conducts their own assessment and verification based on their findings through on-site visiting, document review, sample collection, stakeholder consultation and individual stakeholder interviews, local, historical and cultural research, and the corroboration of this information. These inputs will be verified by the team of assessors to evaluate the compliance level of the organisation. Any non-conformances concluded at the end of the audit are brought up with the company's management during the closing meeting, and steps to address the non-conformity are taken by the company to rectify these through an effective corrective action. In compliance with RSPO's social requirements, Verification is conducted to ensure that different requirements are provided, such as workers' pay and benefits, working and living conditions, health and safety, gender inclusivity, child protection from labour, recruitment practices, and community well-being. Challenges in this video, we will focus on the challenges of social auditing, RSPO's audit checklist, and the RSPO certification system. Conducting audits to evaluate social compliance, as well as detecting forced labour and other labour rights violations, can present significant challenges for brands which use palm oil in their products, and companies which produce palm oil as well as third-party social auditors. There are many reasons for this. Firstly, the violations are either hidden within the hundreds or thousands of hectares of plantations which are left undetected by auditors due to sampling coverage that hinders from some issues to be brought up front within the time frame of audit. Secondly, practices which are somewhat complex such as hiring practices or subcontracting arrangements, are not always written down or in direct control of the company. Sometimes the point of origin of the violation may originate from abuses caused by labour contractors or suppliers at the point of recruitment in the home countries of workers. Abuses in these forms are usually missed during the audit exercise, or not captured in the audited samples, and often remain invisible to auditors and brands, unless extra proactive measures are taken by the companies to identify malpractices and ensure consistency and compliance by the third-party labour supplier. RSPO Audit Checklist RSPO strives to ensure the highest quality of assurance to secure compliance with the standards within the principles and criteria and to assist and guide its members to comply with those standards. These standards incorporate key international laws and conventions applicable to the production of palm oil. As such, RSBO has compiled an auditor's checklist which can be used by auditors during the audit process. This is available on RSPO's website. This checklist lays out specific but non-exhaustive questions for auditors to ask during audits to help them in ascertaining compliance 
or non-compliance with the indicators of the latest PNC. While this checklist exists, what is also required is the skill, expertise and experience of the auditing team to assess the situation on the ground, taking into consideration local and cultural backgrounds and to corroborate this with documents and records requested during site visits. To further assist the auditors in their assessment, RSPO provides guidances that are readily available to further inform their assessment and to provide additional information regarding the standard which can be researched prior to any audits conducted. RSPO Certification System Requirements The RSPO Certification System document is a key reference document within the RSPO and its requirements are applicable when certification bodies are auditing RSPO members against the RSPO PNC requirements, as well as the RSPO Independent Smallholder Standard. As required by the above mentioned key document, audit teams who are auditing against the RSPO scheme are required to have internationally recognized social audit training, such as the SA8000. Social systems, also known as SMETA, or other social auditing courses recognized by RSPO. Both the SA8000 and SMETA trainings cover a range of social components, which include labor elements such as working hours, health and safety of workers, child labor, freedom of association, discrimination, subcontracting, and more. The above-mentioned training is included as part of the training provided to auditors who audit RSPO's social indicators to ensure that they are fit and equipped with relevant skills beyond a checkbox exercise and to gauge compliance to social indicators based on their awareness, skills and knowledge. Through the checklist and system requirements, social auditing can evaluate report on, measure an organization's effects on society, and improve its performance and behavior.